Village, Cambodia, Craig Leeson, 7 News. Kangaroo Island businessman Peter Davis has undertaken a $200,000 labour of love restoring a historic fruit and veg van. It's been nine years in the making and it's all about teaching mainlanders the history of his beloved KI. He was content spruiking Kangaroo Island's Ligurian bee honey, made by the world's oldest remaining pure strain bee, brought from Italy in the 1880s. More recently, businessman Peter Davis was stung by a desire to promote other KI yarns in an old jalopy with plenty of history. Here we are at the old mulberry tree. It was planted at Reeves Point near Kingscote by the first official settlers trying their luck on KI, months before the buffalo anchored off Glenelg. History is here. This is where it first started, July the 27th. 1836. A fact Peter reckons is lost on many mainlanders, so he's now firing up his heritage bus to set us all straight. His magical mystery tours shedding light on other KI curiosities, like the story of a bloke who came to greet those official settlers. He could have jumped ship from a sealer or some people say he could have been a convict from Van Diemen's land. And imagine their surprise when out of the KI scrub pops a bloke calling himself Governor Wallen. He's dressed in a coat made of wallaby and possum skins and he reckons he's been on the island for 18 years growing fruit and vegetables. He lived out here at Signet River on SA's first farm in a wattle and daub hut. It's the same farm, later owned by Augie Botcher, where Peter Davis found a rotting and rusting 1948 Austin van. It was very much a wreck. It had been very neglected. It was sitting behind a shed and the chooks were using it to roost. When I was young, we used to see this van in Kingscote every Saturday. With fruit and veg? With fruit and veg. Others would have let it rot, not Peter. Augie Botcher's old bus was pulling him in, the perfect vehicle to promote KI's hidden history. We had something on Kangaroo Island that was really, really important. The Ligurian Bee Sanctuary, the oldest in the world, but also the first settlement in South Australia. But further, the first farming area in South Australia out at Signet River. This old bus has cost Peter Davis 200 grand, but he reckons it's worth it it will make Kangaroo Island proud of their heritage. For more on Peter and his lorry load of yarns, head to our website, Ron Cantelars, 7 News. Dozens of artists and performers